What's up, guys? That is right, we're building a 4500 and 1660 Super Gaming PC this morning, and it's a pretty good bang for buck. Yeah, budget build today. Um, this one. It's an interesting one. Yeah, it yeah, features some good specs. So, uh, this thing is based around the Ryzen 5 4500 6 core 12 thread, which is a good bunch of CPU <coughs> right now. Uh, we're also using a, where's the motherboard? MSI Pro B550-VC, which is a full-size motherboard and a nice full-size case. Um, we're using 16 gigs of silicon power RAM, 3200 megahertz. We have a one terabyte NVMe SSD, a 1660 Super, one of the best used value cards right now. Um, it's all in 600 watt power supply inside the Antec NX410 with RGB, and uh, this thing will be 800 bucks on our PC Pro. Are you tired of unactivated windows but don't want to pay for a key? KeysOff has you covered. KeysOff offers cheap and legal OEM software keys from windows to office keys and more. KeysOff has you covered with low prices for all their keys at up to 62% off. KeysOff also has 24 seven customer service and lifetime after sales support to ensure you're taken care of at any step of the process. Take advantage of these deals by entering the respective coupon codes in the links in the description below to claim your cheap and legal software keys today. Once you've gotten your code via email, then all you have to do is just enter it into Windows and then you're all set. Big thanks again to Keys Off for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the video. Blue screen death happened, found out it was my M2 card that I bought from AliExpress. <laughs> well, I, might do I, I wouldn't say M.2s are the most reliable from AliExpress, but they can be decent deals. It's kind of a hit or miss. The other thing I will say too is, uh, I'm gonna assume you're in another country or you're just being really experimental, but typically like storage, uh, I mean, honestly, most things besides motherboard CPU RAM combos are not actually like good deals. No, they're not really. I mean, AliExpress, we more of just do it for like the funny wow factor. Every so often we get like a decent deal. It was a 2T990, you had a 990 Pro off there? Yeah, I, I know. Oh, is it real? How much was it? <laughs> did, did it say Samsung spelled wrong? And if you're in another country, is that the reason? Well, are you in another country? If so, $34? <laughs> yeah, that seems like a. <laughs> yeah, because that's a Gen 4. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's real. Yeah, I don't think that's a real Two SSD. Two terabytes? Yeah, I think you got a fake SSD, buddy. Because a, a, a real one terabyte one, I think those are still like $80. It's so now so... AliExpress. They had their moments where they're like, wow, this is good. Some of these CPU motherboard combos, the GPUs and everything, like the one from yesterday's video. But then they have those other sellers that give it a bad reputation, just like eBay. Uh, but it's just overseas, so people even are less likely to trust it because they got to wait forever for stuff to ship to you, and then you never know if you're actually getting your money back. Yeah, I don't know what AMD did with these like fourth gen stock coolers, but like, wow. Devious. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like pry it. Yeah, I think was, that's the one I ended up breaking. Really? I was trying to get one of those off because <laughs> it was like really dumb. I got the AT&T fiber, nice. Yeah, I've been pretty happy with it. I did it. have it. Did at the old house and now. I am actually surprisingly very happy with my internet at the new house. I remember at first, because I was just using yeah. Wi-Fi, I was having some problems, but then once I hardlined everything. I've never had issues with the I, Spectrum yeah. internet, even though the I literally not there. I have not it's... had a single issue with my internet. Yeah. Like, I don't even actually, like, I think it's impressive. Like, I've been there for two years, and I can think of this one time it's been down or slow or anything, really. See, now that I said that, it's, it's going to happen. Uh, this is the NX410. Well, see, there we go. See, Rylock just doesn't know these things. What's the old LCD monitor in the top right? That is a Macintosh Plus. <laughs> That's, uh, I think, 1984? It's, it's, it's definitely the 80s. It's well before our time, even, okay? So, Gareth, they said, I, uh, I think she thinks it'll be cheaper, but my build my Amazon cart right now is 1800 or so, lol. Well, if you ever want... Um, Gerthy, like we've had people do this before where you're just kind of like price comparing and also making sure that the stuff you have is the best bang for buck and compatible. You can always like, um, I think you can save your cart or make it a wish list and you can send it over um, to us. Even if you do it on stream, we won't charge you necessarily like the whole $10 thing. Um, but we might be able to, you know, look it over and say, oh yeah, this is a really good build. Like, you know, 1800, go for it. Um, or we can say, well, I'd probably change this, I'd change that, and then we could even give you kind of like an estimate on like, hey, here's probably what it would cost if you wanted us to you know, do it for you. What do you think would happen if we used gum instead of thermal paste? Um, I guess some people do that before. It'd probably work for a little bit. The main problem is, is how quickly it would dry out. Thermal paste like is able to stay, uh, I guess the term would be like viscous for a really long time, like upwards of 10 years sometimes. Um, well, something like gum i would imagine all right out the gate it would not be as good of a, a, a thermal conductor because like i feel like gum is almost like 
I don't even know why I just took this off. Go 3070 Ti for 450 on eBay in January. It hasn't filled me yet. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's um, usually if you, if you find a card from a good eBay seller that has good feedback and it says that it was either working or tested and it wasn't necessarily hard for use for mining, that usually means that, that card's going to last a really long time, usually. Should I dust my PC periodically and how often? That's a good question, then, Jedi. Um, you know, it really depends on your living conditions. Like, some people don't accumulate nearly as much, like, pet hair and dust as others. Um, but get roaches. Yeah, generally, I usually tell people like maybe once a year to dust out your PC, even if you do live with like, I live with a lot of animals, maybe once a year. I do mine. Um, obviously, there is other conditions that can matter, like how many fans do you have in your case? Does your fan have a lot of airflow or does it only have a little bit? Sometimes you might just be able to pop out a fan filter, clean it out, and call it an day too. Yeah. Do air purifiers help with dust in the room? I wouldn't think air purifiers do anything with dust. I think air purifiers typically are much more microscopic than that. Normally you're looking for a dust collector or a dust filter. Um, an air purifier, yeah, it would help some actually, because I guess it is pulling in air and there is a giant- it is collecting some of the Yeah, HEPA filter in the bag. Yeah. I just don't think it's as much as some people think it is. Yeah, we have an air purifier here actually, and um, I think we kind of stopped using it actually. I know we were really using it when uh, we had our last repair guy and we were constantly buying really dusty things. Um, actually, really the winter. The winter, it's great because we have to keep the doors closed, but in the summer, we just open the door up uh, and clean a lot of the PCs outside. We have not built a Mustex case in a while. Oh God, dude, we need to work with you, buddy. <laughs> what is it? You oh, need, is this you, you, need, you need to work with him. There, there's some freaky stuff oh. happening here. Yeah, there's some no. free. Okay, we really let us let us help you. Let us help you because don't is, worry, Garethy. We're gonna make you a pro after this. I would delete that from main chat right now. <laughs> no, like we'll help you. We'll help you. Yeah, no, no worries. I, you know, and honestly, we've seen worse. I will yes. say, your build at least will work together. That's it will that's work. the best part. It's just all about optimizing stuff properly. All right, guys, we're ready. Handles pressure. We hope you all enjoy. Don't forget, uh, Gerthy, I will send you that stuff over today. Peace out, guys. Have a great deal. See you tomorrow.